Hi, Peter Kennedy here from PKYS. I'm going to show you how to update the firmware in your MultiPlus. I have a MultiPlus behind me on the wall here. It's connected to batteries and it's turned on. The first thing I'm going to do is disconnect any remote panel. Next, I'm going to connect the Mark III US interface that we're going to use to connect it to a computer. And then on the computer, we're going to open up the Victron Connect program. In Victron Connect, we have to find our device. I'm doing this on a MacBook, and you can see it's also picking up all the other devices around that are connected by Bluetooth. We click on the gear wheel in the top right to access the settings. To enable settings, we have to enter the password, which I'll tell you at the end of this video. Next, we go to the three little dots in the top right of the screen, and this gets us access to the product info. If new firmware is available, it will tell us here. Note that you don't have to be online while you're doing this, but your copy of Victron Connect has to be up to date in order for it to have the latest firmware. Click on the Update button. It tells you what version is available to update. Once you click on that, you will get the warning that this will erase all the settings in your MultiPlus. You'll either have to save them to a file on your computer and reload them at the end, or you'll have to start all over again with your programming. This is a new installation, and there are no save settings, so we're going to jump right in. You get one last warning before it starts. While it's doing its thing, let's talk about why we would even do this. Updating the firmware is quite a serious project. It's like updating the operating system in your computer. It's not something you need to do every day. There are a few valid reasons for doing this. The first is when you have a new installation like we're doing here. There are no settings to be erased, so there's nothing to worry about. We're just starting off our new installation with the latest firmware. Another reason you might update the firmware is if you were troubleshooting and having difficulty with the features. This gives you the opportunity to reboot everything and get a fresh start. Another reason might be if you wanted to set up multis in parallel or split phase or even three phase. To do this, they must all be running the exact same version of firmware. I don't really recommend doing this unless you have a valid reason. Once we get to the end of the process, the multi reboots, and at this stage you can move on to programming, which will be the subject of my next video. I told you at the end that I'd tell you the password to enable the settings. It's all lowercase z, z, z.